Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Um, I'm on the middle seven today. I'm going to be fishing for barbel. Uh, we've got some really nice, promising looking conditions. Uh, there's been a little bit of rain over the last couple of days. Uh, definitely long overdue after uh, quite a dry summer so far. Um, the river's just showing signs that uh, it's starting to get some colour. Um, there's some more rain forecast later today. Um, a little bit of ripple on the on the river today with um, with some wind. Um, conditions just look generally pretty damn good for barbel fishing. So um, yeah, looking forward to this session. So uh, um, it's currently uh, early afternoon. Um, so I'm planning on staying until probably about half an hour after uh, sunset, uh, just into that sort of darkness period where you know the bar will really sort of aggressively get on the feed. So, um, so we'll try and uh, set the swim up throughout the course of the afternoon, uh, get plenty of bait into the swim, uh, try and draw some fish up. Um, the fishery you know, down the river is quite busy today and Quite a lot of anglers, um, probably about three, four hundred metres down the river. Um, it's probably eight to ten pegs sort of taken down there. So I'm hoping there's going to be quite a bit of pressure down there that might sort of uh, send the, the fish further upstream, and uh, you know the barbel might hopefully be pushed out of that area. And uh, I've got a nice section of bank here on my own where there's nobody else here. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, that bit of pressure. Sort of further down the bank there will play to my advantage and over the course of the afternoon and into this evening i can get a few barb on the bank to show you um i'll we'll run through what sort of equipment i'm using what tactics uh, what bait i'm going to use over the course of the video and um yeah fingers crossed we can have a few thanks very much and uh, i'll be back to you soon so in terms of where we're going to be fishing today, uh, let's have a look at the swim. Um, so we've got quite a bit of shadow on the far side uh, of the river at present. Um, it's probably a little bit more flow on the far side currently uh, than down sort of close in. Um, it's definitely sort of quite shallow sort of with the level of the river right now, sort of right underneath the rod tips. So. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see just about out there there's a snag probably about three quarters of the way across the river over there it's just creating a bit of a slack just short of it so we're going to be feeding uh, this line across here straight down probably about somewhere between a third and halfway across um, we're going to feed that line get loads of hemp out over there um, concentrate on that to to start with I'm going to fish both rods on the same sort of line and see if we can draw a few barbel up on a reasonable bed of bait so in terms of the uh, equipment I'm using today then so uh, just to give you a quick run through that um, I've got um, a pair of my uh, Corum uh, barber rods one and three quarter pound test curve rods um, so uh, cork sort of handles, really good versatile rod, um, that's that's paired up with uh, the uh, Shimano ST4000 uh, bait runners, um, I've got um, 12 pang line on there and I'm going to use a fairly standard sort of leg clip system, uh, cage feeder, um, three sort of foot IQ2 fluorocarbon hook link uh, sort of down to um, size 8 wide gape hook um, and um, yeah that's going to be the setup on both rods to start with we'll see how we get on if we need to adjust the, the length of the hook link um, the hook length sorry uh, at all then uh, we'll do that we'll just sort of work through that as the session sort of progresses um, in terms of uh, bait and sort of uh, how I'm going to you know approach the, the swim today um, so I'm going to put quite a big sort of bed of hemp out there just to try and uh, initially draw the fish in um, to great attractor and uh, we'll pull in sort of pretty much all species of fish but certainly the barbel will like to get over a good bed of hemp in my experience. Um, I've got four hook bait options for today so just to run you through those. Um, firstly Robin Red 
um, sort of durable hookers, 12 mil, um, you know, really good durable sort of uh, hook bait this, nice and sort of squishy, you can cut them down, great flavour, um, always a favourite of, of barber I tend to find. Um, another sort of pellet based solution, um, dynamite meat furter. Um, these, you can see in the bottle, um, really sort of quite heavily grubbed, you know, a lot of liquid in there, you know, these are really sort of pungent smell to these, you know, quite a, you can see the, the coating that's on those, again, they're nice and easy to cut down if uh, you need a more subtle sort of bait out there, so um, that's the um, second option, third one, DNA bait range, crayfish hookers, you can see, dumbbell shape, uh, 14 mil. Now I've not used these before, but um, I've been recommended to try them. Not as sort of um, pungent as smell-wise as the uh, meat fjorta, but you know that's that's what it looks like. Um, purely going to be an experiment. See how we get on with those. So. Uh, that's the third option, and finally, the good old uh, meat. I've got four or five cans of that, so I'm certainly going to have at least one rod on that from the start, um, and I'll probably start the other rod on the meat theatre uh, pellet, and uh, we'll see how we get on, see what's doing the bites, and uh, just as we need to go on. Fish on, that's got to be a barbell bite. Keeping some steady pressure on so the fish can't get to the snag. Definitely a bubble. Holding firm mid water.
that. Okay, so this is the uh, result of that uh, last take there. Another absolutely clunking River Seven barbel. Let's just wash her off, make sure she's well looked after. Nine pounds, four ounces. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Some marks at the top of the tail, but other than that, lovely fish. Excellent condition. Brilliant sport on the seven in it. Happy to uh, get off to a good start there. It's taken about an hour to uh, to get that first bite there. So uh, um, I'm going to carry on feeding the swim now. Just keep sort of uh, trickling in the hemp every uh, 10 or 15 minutes and uh, the chopped, chopped meat. Uh, first bite there come on the rod uh, that was on the meat. So um, just depends on what happens sort of now. Um, if if the, the upstream rod on the meat goes again, then I'll probably switch the, uh, the downstream rod to meat as well. So uh, um, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens. Good to get that first one in the net, and uh, let's try and get a couple more now. So here's the second uh, fish of the session, and what a fish this is. Double figure barbel, 10 pounds, two ounce. Check this out. What an absolutely stunning River Seven barbel. Slight like cut in the top of the tail. Absolutely charged up the river. Typical barbel fight, probably 10-12 minutes, played it nice and gently, finally got it netted, absolutely chuffled this one, what stunning fish. So here she is, resting in the net. 10 pounds, two ounces, proper brute of a barbel. Absolutely stunning fish. I've just fed another big batch of hemp all the way down that line. A good five or six catapults full. Keep that going in regularly keep the fish in the area, keep them interested, hopefully keep the bites coming. So as well as feeding the swim with hemp, I'm also feeding uh, finely chopped um, luncheon meat as well. Um, that's the rough size that I'm feeding. Um, it's probably about a quarter of the size of the hook bait. Uh, so I'm scattering that basically all down the line where the hemp um, is going. Um, it's just a case of gradually sort of building the uh, swim up bit by bit.
So we've got the swim baited up now. Both of the rods are out. Conditions look great. Fingers crossed, only a matter of time before we get a bite. the old river today. Not sure that the old wild swimming is for me though. mid water, fill up the barbel. One pill, one under the rod. Give a 
give the fish a good wash off. And here we go. Typical stump of fish for this uh, stretch of the river. Nice little fight, good aggressive bite. So the white's uh, rapidly dropping now and it's probably uh, reached the time where I'm going to have to uh, call an end to the video for uh, this evening's session. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's certainly been an absolutely brilliant session. Um, any, any barbel, nine or ten pounds off the middle seven, uh, any point in time, you know, are absolutely cracking fish. So I've really enjoyed it. Uh, ten pound two being the biggest barbel. Um, that's uh, the biggest barbel of the season to date uh, for me so uh, really happy with that and going home uh, very pleased tonight so um, yeah if you've enjoyed the video um, please uh, like and uh, subscribe to the channel um, I'll, I'll try and get some more videos on over the uh, latter part of uh, uh, autumn and uh, into uh, the end of the season this year um, please feel free to leave any comments and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you within uh, uh, sort of 24 hours and um, yeah good luck with your own fishing and uh, catch up soon.